Okay, so here we are. We're now going to be able to uh, start Samsung for the first time. So the first time I launch Samsung is going to download the Samsung elements that are added by default to my account. So you see that when I see the, the splash screen here, it's going to say that it's downloading some Samsung elements. So I'm going to do just that now. Here, starting Samsung, downloading Samsung element periodic table, basic importers, etc. etc. So some Samsung elements that are added by default. So it's downloading them from Samsung Connect. Then it loads them and starts uh, and I can start Samsung. So here it how it looks like the first time you start it. I'm going to maximize the window. And if I don't want to see this uh, window here, this window title. I can press F11 or go in window here and say full screen to hide uh, this title bar and, uh, and see everything. So the first thing that you can see is uh, that I have several toolbars that I can reorganize uh, to make them all clearly visible the first time I launch Samsung and this is actually going to be memorized. So you will not have to do that each time you start Samsung. Let's put this one here, this one here, and maybe this one here. So now the next time I start Samsung, this will be memorized and uh, my uh, workspace will be saved. So I'm not going to describe a lot um, of features in this video. I just want to show that now I can go back to Samsung Connect. I can log in again. And I'm going to see some modifications in uh, My Samsung, the My Samsung page. Now, in the My Elements section, I actually see the default elements that have been added to my Samsung installation. And if I want, I can remove some modules. For example, if I think I'm not going to be interested in uh, the Samsung element that uh, computes secondary structure prediction, and which is actually uh, here, this one, secondary structure prediction. I can just remove it from, from here. So now I have add again. I'm going to quit Samsung. So I pressed Control Q on Windows. Or I can just go here in the menu and exit. I'm going to restart Samsung. It removed the secondary structure uh, prediction Samsung element, and now I don't have it anymore. Okay, so let's do it again in a reverse way. I go to my Samsung Connect. So here, basically, I have the history of all the elements I've added, so I can uh, find them again and add them again uh, quickly. So I add it again, this one, and now it says pending your Samsung element will be installed when starting Samsung. So I restart Samsung. It's going to download it. Download it. it does not download the ones that are already installed. And now I have it again. Okay. So if I go to the elements page now, so I see that this one was not updated, so I'm going to have to log out and log in again to make sure the status is updated. Now it's okay. And here in elements it's okay as well. So you see that now among all the available elements it tells me that some of them are installed. It's the ones that have been installed by default and some are not installed. Okay. So that's it for the this first very brief overview of Samsung and now in the next videos we're going to uh, give more information about uh, adding elements, removing elements, uh, going through the, the different menus and toolbars and uh, begin to actually do things with uh, Samsung. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.